Hello? Thank goodness you're all okay. This is the ninth Rekaba coming in. Fran, you seem to have successfully infiltrated the tower. How's the operation progressing? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was Fran still. <laughs> We're nearly up to top, actually. Let me fill you in on the situation. <laughs> Oops. That happens. That just, that just happens from time to time. The SSS briefed the crew on the bridge of the Merkaba about the current situation. Understood. And you should be done shortly. Heads up! That white ion on the roof put up some kind of barrier with a hundred arc radius. So don't expect us to get close and provide cover fire or anything, got it? Alright, understood. Well, crap. As usual, we're going to have to pull this one off all by ourselves. By the way, the other two ions have seemingly been taken care of. One by Father Kevin's Merkaba, and the other by Estelle and her crew. You don't say. That is welcome news. That's what I'm talking about. We'll take those do Those W's. What? Listen up! You guys better come back here alive. Adios be with you. Be Please be careful. We will. Roger that. Uh. Yep. I would say thoroughly taken care of. Kevin, you doing all right? Uh-oh. The Rakaba's down. Ah. Uh. Maybe the head-on approach wasn't so smart after all. You reap what you sow. You know what happens when you release your stigma like that in the real world. If Rafina were here, she'd be dragging you back to Arturia by your ear for being so reckless. Right. Can't imagine the boss lady is going to be too pleased with me. Not to mention the Merkava. Hope she doesn't take it out of my paycheck. Ah, uh, hell, she might even find a way to fire me if it turns out to be totaled. Hey, if that happens, I could start all over from the bottom as a squire again. And then someday, I'll be supporting you, and you can boss me around. Shut up, you fool. Hey. Thank goodness you're safe. I was so worried. We're still so far away from realizing my sister's dream, from a world where everyone can be, yet you almost... How could you be so reckless? You nearly... Reese. I know. I know, I know there's still so much more we need to do. And hey, I know I can be reckless from time to time. And that's probably not going to change. But that's why... That's why I need you here. So, will you stay by my side? Of course I will, you stupid idiot. As if I could ever leave you all by yourself. Oh. Oof. Oh no. That's what le what's left of Potter Motter. You're okay, aren't you, Potter Motter? It'll be all right. There's no. This is nothing Grandpa can't fix. You'll be as good as new in no time. No, don't say that. It's not true. Ren. She sustained critical. He sustained critical damage to his logic unit. And as you know, there is no backup system for Gordius class archaisms. Potter, Potter, it'll be all right. We'll fix you. We'll. Oof. <sighs> Don't worry, Ren. I will avenge Pottermotter. 
can't see it right now, but I am saluting off Potter Motter. <sighs> Noon. You've gone way too far, Dieter. Whoa, whoa. I was not expecting our uninvited guest to make it all the way to the top. Uncle! Dieter! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. I regret to say that I don't recall making lunch plans with you today. Oh, cut it with the jokes. Are you sure you have the date and time correct? Wouldn't you prefer to come back later? Sorry for barging in without an appointment. This is one rain check we won't be taking. We cannot overlook your false declaration of independence or unleashing magic puppets on the city. Why don't you save us some time and hand Kido over to us? I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. What? I think there's been a fundamental misunderstanding. He is not being coerced into cooperating with myself and the others. As you know, Crosswell finds itself in a precarious si position. There are multiple threats to our state at the moment. That is the reason she's cooperating with us. He is protecting Crosswell of her own free will. Is that what you believe? You say that as if you didn't put her, put her up to it. As if you haven't orchestrated everything. You were the one pulling the Red Constellation strings. You sparked our move to independence by ordering the raid on Crosswell City. It was also your decision to have the IBC freeze Imperial and Republican assets, further placing our state in grave danger. Whether you're telling us the truth or not, it doesn't justify what you've done. You created a situation where Kia would have no choice but to protect the people she cares about. Who'd have thought behind you... Your press suits and pearly whites was a lying son of a bitch. I called you dieter when we got here because there is no independent state of Crosswell and no President Croy. Is this the justice you spoke of earlier this year? Yes. Yes it is. Politics is more than simply making empty promises, you know. In fact, what I've done pales in comparison to the actions of our neighbors. I know you're all aware of the tragedy that resulted from the Empire's invasion of Liberal 12 years ago, correct? And what of the blood that was spilled and the lives sacrificed to make the Republic's democratic revolution possible? What are you getting at? How can you simply imply that what you're doing now is in any way justified because of the past? I've spoken to you all about justice, but I do not recall using the word justified. There is no such thing. Justice is born from power and will. Believe it or not, I was not fully invested in Croy, the Croy family's mission despite inheriting the position of patriarch. Truth be told, Belle had dedicated herself to it much more than I have. However, once I saw the light, once I realized that the Septarian my ancestors envisioned could actually be made real, I rejoiced. I never had... I've never been more grateful to have bo been born in the Croy family. One sec. I now have the power to ensure that this era of co continental upheaval brings justice to the land. Justice? You can't be serious. Are you trying to tell us that you think this hasn't been for your ego, for your desire to control everything? How can you possibly stand there and claim that... This is all for the sake of what you consider justice. Huh. What other reason could there be? The IBC has been the largest holder of assets on the continent for ten years. I've no, I've no need for wealth. To rule the continent? Please. I'm not a bloodthirsty conqueror from the Dark Ages. It's simple. I couldn't stand the status quo. As the continent is, trapped in the framework of nations, pointless conflict is inevitable. My true goal was not simply the establishment of a sovereign state. 
Speaker MacDowell's declaration of invalidity means nothing to me. All that matters is that my idea of justice be realized. That, may, that my justice be the order that leads to world peace. Nonsense. You're so far gone that I almost feel bad for you. Damn, I knew you were nuts, but I didn't know you'd gone this far off the rails. Yes, but if there were ever a way that those delusions could be realized. You're right. If anything can make such madness reality, it would be the power of a septarian, the miracles Kia can create. As far as the, that power goes, there are no rules. He could reshape government and politics to anything he wanted. Dieter Croy, I'll give you credit where it's due. The SSS benefited time and time again from your help. However, that doesn't mean we're going to abide by your gross oversimplification of perver or perversion of what you think is just. We're the special sports section. At the end of the day, we're just a division of the Crossbell Police Department. We have a duty to uphold the law, protect our citizens, and see to it that justice is served within the laws of the state. But that doesn't mean we're always right or that we, the entire for the entire force, haven't had our fair share of missteps. Obviously, there's no indisputable answer to how public order and safety should be maintained. True. Even within the same organization, the stance on what justice is can change depending on someone's position. We may be young and inexperienced, but we should continue to pursue justice. That is what you told us yourself, Dieter. How's it feel and how's it feel having your own words turned against you? It was your speech, buddy. That is a noble pursuit when one doesn't have the power or will to carry out justice already. Consider this. Imagine you already had the power and will to carry it out from the beginning. Wouldn't not using such power be negligent? No. Justice isn't something you can define eternally. It's something that evolves and grows along with the people it protects. The pursuit of it is something that has value to everyone, every man, woman, and child. What you're trying to do is homogenize it. You want to force a blanket concept on everyone, forever, without their consent. How can you possibly construe it that as just? Is this really what your justice is? <sighs> I'm the one who has breathed new life into Crosswell's crumbling political system. Reforms were made possible because of me. How dare you deny that? That's a different matter entirely. We've no intention of denying your accomplishments. It's as Lois said, the truth is you've helped us time and again. But that's also one of the reasons we're here. If anyone is going to bring you to your senses, it should be us. As someone I respect. As someone who has regarded you as family, I'm going to make you repent for what you've done. Very well. What? Some kind of orbal art? No, it's something else. Be alert. A vast amount of spiritual energy is emanating from Orcus Tower and gathering around him. <laughs> I'm hardly as skilled as Bell when it comes to these matters. But as the Patriarch of the Croy family, I know a thing or two. And if I use Orcus Tower's ability to transfer spiritual energy, then... I can even do this! Oh no. Why? What? Did he just teleport inside of it? Good. Visibility and controls are fully operational. Using the power of the Septarian, I can control the machine. this machine at will. Uncle, what have you... Is he controlling the ion from a spiritual phase space? The hell? Is that even possible? What? Behold, this white ion is the embodiment of justice I will bring to the world. Now then, let me demonstrate it to you. 
Oh, they're bringing out the choir. Let's see which of our justices has the strength and will to be right. Fine, have it your way. We'll show you what it truly means to have conviction. Good boy. Okay. Alright, I'm fine with that. It hurts, but nowhere near as bad. Alright, um... Let's just get the burst gauge up. We'll worry about everything else later. There we go. Burst. Alright, first. The Analyze. Ion Type Alpha. Then, we hit him hard. Hit him hard and don't let him. This guy is annoying. Okay. Oh shoot, I should probably have done this sooner. There we go. He reflects on Ellie. Actually, gonna have Ellie move slightly. Other than that, we're gonna keep attacking. Keep laying on the pressure. There we go. Those are the numbers I want to see. Let's get one on Lloyd. Gravity Blast. This is the big one. Lloyd has been able to survive it. And that's why you really want to have Art Reflex up. Have him healed up. Alright, uh... Everyone else, get yours up. Uh-oh. What's he doing? <laughs> Patriot Field. Oh, yeah. He gets three craft guards and three uh, art guards. He's doing it again? But that won't do anything. You're stuck at three, buddy. Alright. That's good. Alright. Can I... Can at least do that. Oh, shoot. Why did I do that? A reflex. Burning divider. And let's start throwing some weak level magic at him. Alright, um... Ellie, I'm going to have you move, actually. Right about there. And I'm also going to have a zero field up. Alright. Didn't hit everyone. Sorry, Dudley. The only one that doesn't have it is Ellie. Uh, let's heal Lloyd. Uh, 
Let's see. Strength and speed. There we go. Proton cannon. <laughs> Missed. And let's get one for a good old dud. Crushing drill punch again. Miss Dudley. All right, Lloyd. I'm gonna have you keep uh, keeping close. Then Dudley, I'm gonna have you yell out your attack orders. Then I'm gonna have you uh, beat him. Justice Hammer 2! The power of justice! There we go. And then we'll keep. Ooh. Let's go. Critical Meteor Breaker. I feel like it, okay? Get him, Lloyd. Love how he rolls into a ball. Political grenade, ugh. Okay, I only hit two of them. Lloyd, I'm gonna have you... Reflex. I'm gonna have you heal. Another political grenade, really? One second. Okay. Uh, where was I? There we go. And then... Breath. Another political grenade? Come on. I don't care what you say. Alright, um... What should I use? Uh, one more thing. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I should obviously heal him. There you go, Dudley. There. And now, Dudley, I'm gonna have to ask that you move over there. Hopefully this all worked out for me. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to keep him from actually doing that. Only 
only thing I can think of is by using food. That is a risk, and I'm not really ready for that. It'd have to be Ellie. And that'd be a waste. Oh no! I can just use Strike Bell. Perfect! Perfect. This is what I wanted. Whatever's coming, you can handle it. Oh, he's showing off again. Oh, come on. Seriously, why does he get rid of the art reflect? I should also get rid of his magic. Energy missile. That, that was helpful. Really helpful. Okay. Bernie, no. I leave myself w too open. Great. Alright, uh... Seriously, enough of the political grenades. Nobody cares. Breath, no, holy breath. In for Tio now. Oh jeez, that could not come soon enough. All right, this is clearly a mistake. Deadly over here. He's still not done with that. go. He reflex on Ellie. Dudley, you can cast from there. Gravity blast. Uh-oh. Ellie's going to die from this. Take that! Screw you, dieter. I win. Sorry, Ellie. Oh, she would have gotten a level up from that, too. A grail locket? Dude. We did it. That's gotta be it. No, wait. It's mana is rising again. No way. Did you forget? As long as this machine is connected to the Septarian of Zero, its power source is infinite. You would have to annihilate it completely for it to stop. Tch. And that's what it takes. Uh, there has to be something we can do. Settle down. I have no intention of taking your lives. That is, if you surrender peacefully and cooperate with my ideals. Whoa, what the? What's going on? His supply of mana vanished.
Uh. Oh, they're just closing up. Okay. Oh, good. At least he was immediately ejected. This this can't be happening. Whoa. They, they vanished? Their endless supply of spiritual energy must have been cut off. Man, I'm beat. Huh. They pulled it off. Yeah, we did. So, uh, what was going on? What is the meaning of this? Why has the energy from the Septarian suddenly disappeared? Playtime is over, I'm afraid. Oh, it's you. The professor from the society. Professor Novartis. What are you saying, Professor Novartis? What is the meaning of this? Is this another of the society's ploys? Did you lay some kind of trap in this machine? Weren't you told the only thing you were gifted was assistance? I've acquired all the data I could need, so I'll be taking my leave soon. Along with the final model behind you, as per our contract. Contract? Are you out of your mind? I bought this machine directly from the society. You've no right to take it back. I'm afraid not. There's been a slight amendment to the contract you signed. As agreed upon, once the machine has served its purpose, we are allowed to recover it. You can read the dotted line for yourself. The signature reads, Maria Belcroy. What? Oh, great. She's even betraying her own dad. That laugh. It's Belle. Belle, what have you done? Just what are? where are you right now? Are you not inside of Orcus Tower? Of course not. I haven't been there for quite some time. I and the others are with Kia. What? That's right. We didn't come across any of the others as... As we search the floors. Arios, MacLean, Uncle, Shirley, even Wald. Huh. Wow, things are really heating up now. Tch. What is going on here? Have you all betrayed me? My apologies, Mr. President. However, my loyalties and intentions were never with you from the start. My collaboration was always with Maria Bell and the Lawyer's pro Project. Lawyer? No, it can't be. But it is. What? <laughs> exactly! Are you, you kidding me? Ian? No way! Explain yourself, Mr. Grimwood. I've been coming to you for guidance for ages. I trusted you. What have you been scheming behind my back? That's right. You've been my prized pupil, Dieter. Your business sense is second to none, and your skills as a politician exceeded my expectations as well. If you have just one fatal flaw, it's that you're an idealist. Up to now, you thought everything had been going exactly as you planned. In actuality, every step we've taken has been according to Mr. Grimwood's vision, not yours. From the manipulation of the cult to the agenda of the trade conference, and the raid on Crossbell, even your declaration of independence. Tell us, just who was it that put each and every one of those ideas in your head, Father? Had you not slipped up, I would have been content continuing to pull the strings from the shadows. However, what's best now is for you to take, for you to step aside. You don't have what it takes to lead any longer. I'll be the one to continue the Azure Zero project. Azure Zero? What is that? Soon the Septarian of Zero will take its final form. The Azure Tree where the ruler of space-time will rearrange the very principles of causality. 
witness its rebirth. Are you seeing this? A blue light in the distance. To the southeast, near the wetlands. What the hell? Oh great, now what? Oh, come on. That is a really big tree. <sighs> Seriously, the lawyer of all people? No way. This can't be. <laughs> Magnificent. The product of a singularity. We're witnessing an unexpected miracle that exceeds even the salt pail. Hold on. Did you say that tree is the true form of the Septarian of Zero? Where is Kia? What have you done to her? <laughs> what kind of question is that? See for yourself. You're looking at her. Kia is right in front of your eyes. The Azure Tree is Kia herself. To be more precise, her heart and body remain intact. You needn't worry. More importantly, she has now become the arbitrator of all. This is not the grim result that all of you are fearing, nor does it have to be for any of you. I'd prefer it if you supported and continued watching over her. What do you... The hell are you getting at? No fooling. He's telling the truth. But if you'd rather come have some fun, that can be arranged. <laughs> If you plan to interfere, then go ahead. I have no objections to stopping you myself. Business is business, and we agreed to as much in the contract. I don't give a damn what they're planning. But if you come, bring that bony wise ass with you so I can finish him off for good. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you all soon. And before I go, I should thank you one last time for your support, Father. You were simple. A simple and hopelessly romantic fool of a man. Though in the end, I could never bring myself to hate you. Uh. Bell. As curious as I am to stay and watch what happens next, other plans beckon. I have, I'll have to settle for reading all about it in the reports. Wait! Huh! I'll be going now. I don't know much... I don't know how much you can hope to accomplish, but at least try to put up a good fight. I would prefer to have useful data to pour over later. And just like that, he's gone. That nut job just had to get the last word in. Are you all right? There you two are. What did we miss? And where did that huge tree come from? Well... My sentiments exactly, Tio. Where do I even begin? I'm taking that tree off in the distance to mean things aren't over yet. Sergey! Chief, is everyone on the ground all right? Yeah, those magic puppet things have vanished into thin air. We're all, we've already secured the tower, but... When the hell happened up here? A lot. Yeah. 
Lloyd and the others outlined the events that just that had just transpired. Unbelievable. The man behind the curtain was Grizzly Grimm of all people. It explains a lot. Someone who had connections in politics, business, foreign affairs, and the in and had ins in with the police and guild was behind it all. Yeah, knowing him, I'd say he's more than capable of pulling this off. Hell, if I know if I know what his motive is, hell if I know what his motive is, but we don't have time for that right now. Right. Wheezy, can you call the Merkaba? Sure thing. I was waiting for you to ask. You're going there? Yes. I know this might fall out of the scope of what can be considered police work. But if, th if that's where we're going to find Kia and answers to all of our questions, then, uh, then there's no other choice. I feel uh, precisely the same. Someone has to stop Belle. It would be pointless to stop after coming this far. I got a little family reunion to attend, Chief. I have a duty to go, too. Hey, I'm the one flying. If the Merkava goes, so do I. I also have a score to settle with Wald. I have my own as well. She and I will end this once and for all. This is something I must do. I have questions I need MacLean and Ian to answer personally. You won't be going there without me. <laughs> Guess there's no point in arguing with any of you. <sighs> you can leave the city and tower in my care. The president too. Listen up. I want you to go there and settle this the way you think it needs to be done. Not just as a special support section, but as yourselves. Do what you know to be right. Holy hell. Seriously. We've been promoted. Got the emblem quartz. Are you kidding? That's absolutely nuts. Is it, is it true? Did Kia really make that tree appear? Yes, we have no reason to doubt it. The Azure Tree, the final form of the man-made Septarian. How unfathomable that man's delusions are deeply rooted enough to sprout such a thing. Am I correct in assuming that even you don't know what kind of power that tree is capable of? Yes. All I can say for certain is there is something ex extraordinary about its blue light. It holds dominion over all elements, including time, space, and mirage. The Croy family manufactured the Septarian of Zero to place the Septarian of Mirage. Does that mean it gained the power to control time and space in the process? I do not know what it is capable of. Or rather, it may be more accurate to say there is nothing it's incapable of. You're kidding. That would mean its power rivals Idios herself. Whether that's the case or not, it doesn't change what we have to do. Arios, Maria Bell, Mr. Grimwood, and the others will face them at all and take Kia back. We will. Exactly. Oh, heck yeah. Even I'm starting to get fired up. Grace, what are you still doing here? Shouldn't you have disembarked with the Speaker McDowell? Can it, mister? I'm here because I chose to be. I got a duty to give cross balance the facts out here. So let me do my job and cheer you on until this is over. Really? This cannot end well. Hate to change the subject, but I think we should do a little prep. You're right. There's no telling what could be waiting for us there. Budding has ceased on the ground, so there's no place we can't travel with the Merkava now. You can give the order if there's somewhere you, in particular you want to visit. we Will do. Oh, boy. I can sense a presence akin to Kia's from that tree. 
Maria Bill said the tree itself is Kia, correct? I still do not know what to make of it. What Maria Bell is trying to achieve, making something like that appear. <laughs> I probably should have returned to my base in the Geo front. What's going on here is just too interesting, though. Since I'm already here, I'm going to stick with you till the end. Eh, you better be grateful, got it? Hiya, Lloyd. You look like you didn't get much sleep last night. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. It must be the fatigue of having to juggle so many responsibilities lately. If you say so, try not to push yourself too hard, okay? I don't know what I would do with myself if I lost you, the others, or goddess forbid, Noe. Sometimes it scares me. It's okay, friend. We'll be careful. Be careful. Being careful isn't enough. You need your rest and stamina at times like these. I know. I could give you a back massage if you wanted. If I focus on all the pressure points that are causing you fatigue, I can take out those knots like POW! That sounds painful, not relaxing. No, I'm good. Really appreciate the thought, though. Simply talking with you is uh, lifting my spirits, Fran. Wow, really? I'm so flattered that you'd say that. Part of my duty as your operator is to boost team morale, after all. And trust me, you always do a good job of it. I don't know how the SSS would have kept itself together through all the stressful days without seeing your smiling face on the terminal screen. I'm sure everyone at HQ feels exactly the same about getting to work with you. Aw, oh, come on. You're starting to embarrass me. But I'll take your word for it. I'll always be cheering for you and the SSS, Lloyd. That's why I want you to have this. Ranch charm. You're giving this to me? Sure am. I'd be honored if you kept it. I made it myself while praying for everyone to come home safe. I'm sure it will come in handy. I bet it will. I'll be sure to put it to good use. I hope you'll cherish it too. Alright. As far as the church is concerned, there is no record of anything like the Azure Tree. There is no telling what may happen should we enter it. Alternatively, we could visit other locations in Crossbow at the moment. If there is other business you need to take care of, perhaps that should take precedence. Alright, who's out here? Never thought I'd see the day a great tree would spring out of the wetlands. It's even taller than Orcus Tower. I bet you can see it from the Empire and the Republic. Then again, the entire continent already had its eyes on Crossbow, as your tree or no. I wasn't going to miss the opportunity to cover this. That's why I'll risk my life tagging along with you guys. I wonder if Belle planned on discarding her father from the very beginning, and to think that Mr. Grimwood was the mastermind behind the, their plan. I'm sorry, I know dwelling on it won't do me any good. I need a moment to gather my thoughts and composure. Anyway, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. The Azure Tree is waiting. I've already decided to go to that tree. She and I have a score to settle. My mind is made up. Please give the order to depart once preparations are finished. Rixi has fulfilled her promise to herself. Ark and Seal and the city are free again. Before we go to the tree, maybe she can finally be convinced to visit St. Ilya at St. Ursula. I cannot tell you whether you have any hope of affecting the great tree that has spawned. It would be appropriate to think of its power as rivaling that of the goddess herself. Never did I imagine that the delusions of man would be deeply rooted enough to sprout such a thing. Now that this great tree has appeared, even Arturia is in an uproar over it. What we are witnessing is an unexpected miracle even uh, never written about in the church's testaments. Just the same as the salt pail that struck North Ambria, it's only natural our leadership would be cautious. As long as Key is in there, we can't relax. I'll take full responsibility for everything we do from here on out. Let Abbas know when we're ready to head to the tree. Who cares what that huge tree is? It's tiny to us, right Lloyd? As long as we remember that we're fighting for Kida, we'll be good. 
we have the time to sit around and think about it, we may as well start our infiltration. With that, Arios gone, the command of the CDF has been fully transferred to Commander Bales. Her forces will have their hands full, quelling the civil unrest caused by the appearance of the Azure Tree. I'm tempted to be on the ground with them to help, but I know the situation is under control with the Commander at helm. Let's continue onward. We have our own objective to fulfill. There's something I want to tell you, Bannings. You've grown a lot this year. What was that? It's more apparent now that I've been watching your team closely for a little while. Your deductive and investigative skills are sound. You're not the fresh-faced rookie you used to be. You've still got a way to go until you reach the level Guy and McLean were when they were on the force, but you're right on you're on the right path. Having you train with the first division was the right decision. Where is all of this coming from? I wasn't done yet. Be quiet and listen. Yes, sir. Though I did use Guy and MacLean for reference, I won't tell you to be the same kind of detective they were. You have your strengths. Groom them and you'll be an excellent detective in your own right one day. I hope you'll take this to heart and continue working to that end. What? Why are you staring at me? Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. I'm just surprised is all. It's not like you to dole out compliments, Dudley. Granted, what happens to the Defense Force depends on how things unfold, but the CPD still exists and will continue to. When uh, this is all said and done, I'm sure there will still be a place for you on the Force. Simply consider this talk as me doing my duty as a senior detective of the 1st Division. Nothing more. So that's how it is. Thank you, Dudley. Truly. I'll continue to work hard and live up to your expectations. Don't put words in my mouth, Bannings. Everything I just said is simply based on my objective analysis of what you've accomplished up to this point. More importantly, unless this current matter is resolved and the truth brought to light, there won't be a future for us, either of us. Are you ever going to learn to be honest with yourself? Wipe that grin off your face, Bannings. Sorry. Hearts of Iron 2. Booyah. Upgrade slot. Now I got one more to deal with. Great. Alright, who's not done? Wazy. Wazy, Noel, and Dudley. Wazy, Noel, and Dudley gets the shaft for now. Okay. Wanna do something stupid? Boom. Yep, just like I thought. Oh well. All right, I think that's everyone. So once. All right. Uh, what? What was I doing? I took a small break. I think. Reserve members, support members, four members, too many members. Uh, these two have uh, a score to settle. Uh, but first, there is stuff that we can do now, so let's start doing that. Uh, first stop, let's just land in Crossbow. Alright, so... Our first stop is the cat. Because of course it is. Even in times of dire crisis, you give food to the cat. Let's give him a salamander. Should probably given him an actual fish. Oh, I don't think I've done it. Yep. 
Yep. Nope. Okay, so if you manage to feed them every single time uh, that you're given a chance to, uh, you get a master quartz from them. I didn't do that, so. Oh, the horrible terminal here is turned off. Great. So over here... You get some EP charges from Wendy. Aww. Friends. So over on West Street, talk to Oscar. We get the last Viking. Thank you. Oof. How's the kid holding up? Why, Mr. Grimwood? Pete? Oh, it's you guys. Good day, SSS. Congratulations on your successful operation. Thank you, Detective Emma. Is the First Division searching the building? Correct. We are looking for any possible evidence. I know this is sudden, Pete, but as Mr. Grimwood's only employee, we'll need you to make a formal statement. No, it's okay. I want to help. Mr. Grimwood said something concerning before he left, so I wanted to check it out. Concerning? Yeah. He told me that once the situation with the magic puppets was over, that I should return to the office and clean his desk. Clean his desk? Yeah, at first I thought he asked because he had to leave in a hurry. Thing is, even though cleaning the office is my responsibility, he's, he always tells me to stay away from his desk. One sec. He says it. Uh, he says to leave it alone because there are some things I'm not allowed to see due to his work. What well, would be important enough that Mr. Grimwood wouldn't allow you to go near his desk, though? Better yet, why would he make an exception and ask you to clean it now of all times? Now I know he left something for me to find. Here. Is this? A, is that a letter from him? May we read it? Dear Pete, first, of all, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for leaving you so suddenly. After I became your guardian and you came to work in my office, we shared many happy days together. However, I have been stricken with grief and sorrow since that fateful day many years ago. I have lived for the sole purpose of bringing a certain project to fruition. There were times where having you in my life made me second-guess my path, but the wheels have already been set in motion. It is too late for me to turn back, and the project cannot be stopped. Please, Pete, I want you to forget about me and live a happy life. I will pray to Idios that from, far, from afar that you grow into the fine, bright young man I know you can be. Ian Grimwood Mr. Grimwood We've seized the desk's remaining documents. There was a large instructional memo on how to deal with his clients moving forward, as well as papers for arranging Pete's guardianship. Why did you have to do this, Mr. Grimwood? Forgetting everything he's ever done would never make me happy. Pete, he is indeed a fool. Take it from me. One measly ass letter isn't going to cut ties with everyone you're leaving behind. Exactly. Pete, we're going to track Mr. Grimwood down. We're going to shed light on everything he's done and bring him back with us to answer for it. Thank you so much, everyone. Please take care of Mr. Grimwood.